God. Look at little Faye. She's so happy. Aww. Anyways. Hi, guys. Sage is here. Also, also, I think, I think, uh, what's, what's his face? Jay is here. Hi, Jay. How you doing? I want this fair to go meow. Meow. Well, anyways. So, one of the questions I keep getting asked on Twitter, Discord, in every comment you consider... Um, you can kind of see here that we have opened up a little bit. We're looking at the trailer because, well, there's no other real official way to look at it right now until the 31st. But still, people have been asking, Sage, which, which character would you go for? So we're going to go through every character and we're going to point out the good things. And there's really only good things for these characters, honestly. Yeah, and honestly, if you're going to, to go with, like, any unit, Lin is the safest bet, just say it. I don't know. <laughs> we'll talk about that before, but still... All of these units, all of these units are impressive. So let's start off. Oh, you can't get all fey. Anyways, all right. Just I'm gonna just take a look at that cute little ass owl, and just be like, hey. So there's our selection. But mostly, um, first up is Lucina, brave princess. Artist is Kozaki, <laughs> Kozaki Yosuke. It's actually the, the artist that made uh, Sharina, Alphonse, mm -hmm. and uh. Uh, Bruno, uh, uh, fuck, I was going to say Valoria, Veronica, yep. and I think pretty someone... Sure, pretty sure he's the one who did most of the Awakening and Fates art. Um, anyways, so, starting off, I have to say that Lucina is a pretty strong unit. I, you know, Gar uh, Garrus Gokul is a fantastic <laughs> weapon. Whatever, however the fuck you pronounce that shit. It's Garrus Gokul, or something like that. Um, Garrus Gokul. Garrus Gokul. <laughs> I will give a Google for that for you. God damn it. I honestly... You know where they pull these names from. Some sort of... Uh, probably Norse or some sort of yeah. like, European um, mythology. Because that, I can totally that, imagine, like, um... Lucy... Uh, no, Crumb piercing her with the Gare Skulkul. Just like... Hollywood <sighs> pierced Minion it sounds with like, It just sounds like... It just sounds like a German form of Google. Do you want to use the Garrus Google? <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> you kind of must. <laughs> anyways, this is a lance, and of course, it grants three defense, grants allies with sword, lance, axe, bow, and dagger within two spaces, attack and speed plus three during combat, and of course, drive speed, which is basically the the equivalent of the uh, same thing, just only with speed. Yep. All right. And also, it works on every unit, even yeah, that, and that works on mages as well. And that's probably the most valuable drive skill of the entire game by yeah, now. Drive, drive speed is pretty impressive. I, I, I mean, generally the one thing I've noticed is that all of the uh, weapons that all of these units get, they typically give a stat increase and then also a very interesting status buff as well. Like you know, yeah, so. except except Ike because yeah. no one likes Ike Capo. Don't we like Ike guys? Come on. <laughs> But still, um, also you were able to tell how, well, people were able to do some math and try to get an idea of how much stats Lucina gets, because right now in this trailer there are two characters we can't see stat-wise, Lucina yep. and Ike, so. Also, there's something to note about those two characters, well, actually, the entire trailer, uh, first off, there's no new maps cons shown in there, so yep. there might be no paralogue for those units. <laughs> Second, um... <laughs> free orbs. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck my free orbs. I'm only kidding, but anyways. Um, um, so yeah, there's no paralogue, but on the bright side, we know that those are actual units the, from maps that already exist. Yep. So we can actually see the enemy stats and like add the defense plus the attack of said unit. Do the math to actually guess how much attack said character has. Yep. So, Lucina has how much? Uh, Lucina has 35 attack. She also has 41 HP, in case no one posed the video to look at that. Yeah. Uh, her speed is 32 to 37 from the calculation, because at one point she doubled it, and another she didn't, I believe. Yeah, the, the first one she doubled for 38, and the second one she just did a straight attack for 45. So, yeah. I mean... That's a pretty substantial uh, amount of stats there. I think Lucina's probably... I, I I really like blue units, though, so maybe I'm just being a bit uh, 
Yeah. Well, I mean, the problem with blue unit is they're mainly mages, so to see a good lens for a change is nice. Yeah, it's, it's actually... I mean, I, I don't mean to say that rudely, but uh, to be fair, how many lenses are fast? Uh... Azura's 33 speed, uh, Sharina's 32 speed. Yeah, that's... I... I... <laughs> Without, oh, yeah, Cord- without without horse buffs or anything like that, yeah, I mean... Yeah, Cordelia's 35 and Tana's 36 as well. Yeah, I mean, those I, those have decent speed, but comparatively, a lot of red units have really decent speed and things like that, so... Yep. But... Also, our def is around 26. I, I'm not sure if they're considering um, our weapon buffing her in that, though. Probably but, because... Uh, but no. we'll see. All right. Well, I mean, they don't consider her attack with her weapon, so I'm guessing that's not considering her weapon with the death. I don't know. It's hard to say. But let's let's move on to Roy real quick. Um, Wadasachi... Sachi? Ah! Sakichio. Uh, Sachiko. Oh, God. I can't say Japanese names. Anyways, um... <laughs> Blazing, Dur- Blazing Durandal. Um, pretty sure that's the person who did art for... Uh, I could I could swear that that's what who did art for uh, Blazing Blazing Blade, Binding Blade, um, but I could be wrong. Still, I actually did art for Binding Blade, Blazing Blade, Sacred Stone, Path of Radiance, Radiant Dawn, Awakening, Cipher, Eros, Dracia, and Arachnia Saga. Well, makes sense, but I think he's. I think they brought him in because he could, ma- you know, match the Blazing Blade, Binding Blade art style pretty well. Uh, he did Marf, sure, she Barst, Roy, obviously, Titania, and Varian. <laughs> oh, man. Dear. Varian, of all people. Oh, jeez. All right, so, anyways, moving on, we have Roy here, and, yeah, uh, you know, Blazing Durandal. I, I will I will say there is a special place in hell for whoever decided to... The one thing that I hate is inconsistency in this game. <laughs> oh, believe and, me, inconsistency is the thing I hate the most And Heavy here. Blade and Guard are the most inconsistently named, uh, well, not named, descriptive, uh, descriptive abilities in the game. Because all the other abilities up until that point, they had charge minus, you know, minus instead of plus. So when these came out, it was really weird for me, and I honestly <laughs> forgot about it. And then, you know, this is just, when I see charge plus one, I'm going, wait, that doesn't, that doesn't compute. Is that on... Uh- I, I love to get uh, to get extra charge to for, to go down. Yeah, <laughs> it's like oh, I have five cooldown now. I have six now that I've attacked. What the fuck? Yeah, that, that just it doesn't make sense to me. And guard is minus one, and I'm just like, oh my god. So that's just one one little hiccup that I have. But still, Roy seems to be a pretty. I, I mean, I like the idea of him having heavy blade already built into his weapon. That's kind of oh, cool. Okay. One thing I like about Roy is I just imagine him being like pushing Ellie Wood from his horse, stealing his horse, stealing yeah. his clothes, stealing yeah. his sword, and then rode up in the distance while Ellie Wood is just like, what the fuck just happened? Oh, uh, well, I'm dad now, is basically what Roy's like. I'm dad. Hi, d- <laughs> Hi fucking, Ellie Wood, I'm dad. He fucking dabs before the <laughs> But still, I mean, we can see his stats here um, as it pulls away there, and... We're, uh, I'm going to assume that's neutral, just because, well, I, I assume that's what they would probably use, but then again, I could be wrong. Also, uh, something ne- nice to note, uh, he comes with a very new A skill, which is Armored Blow mixed with uh, Darting Blow. Yeah, I saw that. And he, also, and he also has Desperation. Those are possibly the skills he's going to come with, but it's not confirmed. Just... Yeah, I, I, we can't really tell it just yet because, you know, we're never sure if skill inheritance is a key thing here. But still. Yeah, it, it's kind of a problem, especially with Lin, because Lin has three fucking passive and a special. <laughs> so it's kind of easy to narrow down which one is going to be the skill, which it's not Swift Sparrow. That sucks. Yeah, but still. <laughs> Anyways... Because because uh, she gets another unique skill that I'll have to explain as to what it possibly does. We'll, we'll look at that when we get to her, but still, yes, Roy, Roy here, what are your opinions on him? Do you think he's going to be a very valuable unit, or...? Uh, I'd say he's kind of like... He's slightly underwhelming, in the sense that uh, out of all the unit of the banner, he's easily the worst. 
Um, yeah, I mean, but that's uh, just again, guys. Before like, anyone, before anyone like, starts jumping down our throat saying, "Oh my God, you just hate Roy," or "Come on, he's not that bad." He's not bad. None of these units yeah, are bad at yeah. all. All, the, all, the, all of those units are good to have. Yeah, I'm um, just saying are. that compared to all how overwhelming every units of this banner is, he he's kind the of least. <laughs> Like I mean, you know, blazing, uh, you know, blazing Durandal having heavy blade, cool. But outside of that, um, okay. Yeah, it also has an extra three attack, which means he has a nineteen mind sword. Yeah. Uh, his stat is thirty two attack, thirty four speed, which isn't bad. It's actually the best offensive spread, I believe, of all uh, cavalry. Yeah. Uh, or it used to be Kane with thirty two attack, thirty two speed. But he completely outclasses him. <laughs> Not only that, he gets a better weapon and a possibly better A skill. And we don't know if this is like what stats these are IV wise, so it could even be further than that. So yeah, I'm guessing those are neutral. Yeah, I'm gonna guess uh, that as well. But yeah, I, I mean, I get what you're saying. Roy is like comparatively, since the other two are so overwhelming, and Lucina was, you know, pretty overwhelming in their own right. Roy just kind of comes off a bit weird. Like, yep. He, he's not bad at all, though. Like, yeah. I, I can definitely see people using him. And honestly, if I get, like, every unit on the banner, which I fucking doubt I'll have enough orbs for, uh, I might go for him purely because I don't have enough good reds. Yeah. For a Tempest... Uh, not Tempest Trial, fucking... Well, Tempest Trial as well. I'm, I, I've, I'm running out of unit to get HM in. <laughs> But, oh uh, <laughs> but uh, more, more like uh, Arena Assault. Yeah. Uh, I, maxed up... out, I maxed out 21 units in the last Tempest trial. Stop it. Anyways, next up <laughs> we have our good good new uh, Archer Cavalier. The most busted unit of this entire fucking banner. <sighs> and probably the game right now. Yep. Um, that, of course, is Lin. So, uh... Oh, oh, yeah. I'll just say one thing before someone jumps up and down and be like, oh my god, it removes all the bonuses from Fortify Rally, etc. That means buffs are useless. It's not the case. Um, it removes Fortify Rally and owns. At least I'm guessing that. But not goads and things. I yeah, mean, if, anyone goad... was, if anyone was expecting it to remove goads, uh, yeah, that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, that also applies with Ike. And just want to point out, Lin in Goat Emblem reaches 58 attack and 42 speed with a fucking Brave Bow. <laughs> so, um, even the 80 person consecutive doesn't fucking matter. Not to mention, Ike gets quad. Even with the 80 person damage down, that's still enough damage to just body Ike. Yeah. But, I mean, Seke's blessing as well, uh, yep. that's really neat. <laughs> Seke just be like, oh, what's this, Hector? Oh, what's this? Get fucked. Pretty much. I mean, he... With, with a brave bow, she can do 84 damage to yeah. Hector. Yeah, she and can. Wow. It's just ridiculous. She, I mean, if you were to build a whole, you know, horse emblem team with just goads, she would just decimate everything. Yeah, that was something I was actually uh, thinking of working on with, like, Kane, Frederick, uh, Abel, and... Well, now Lin. Uh, well, actually, I might replace uh, one of them with Reinhardt as well. Yeah. Because Reinhardt can bring the 40 speed in Goat Emblem. She also apparently has Draconic Aura, but uh, I don't know if that's actually legitimately yeah. her thing. Anyways, I, I, I'm going to try and pause where I need to after you know this attack here. Because we need to talk about the possibility that she has something else, according uh, to yes. you. Yep. Uh, well, actually, the you posed it at the exact same time. Uh, you see how the C skill is a completely new skill. Yeah, the C I, skill I'm is going, completely yeah, new. I'm going to go to a limb because she attacked Hector and, if, and it affects Felicia. Felicia, bleh. I'm going to go on a limb that it's going to be like, um, you know how uh, Dark Breath works? Yeah. Like, every unit around the unit for two square loses five attack and speed. Mm hmm or death and rest. No, wait, that's Lizo. Um, but um, that's the same thing, but for attack only. Yeah. Oh. That's what I'm saying. It's hard to say right now, but, like, I mean... It, I just, mean, it looks very just, like... 
I'm just gonna point out. Look at her stats, by the way. If this yep. is neutral, this is ridiculous. Also, I just want to point out she does not have 38 neutral speed or yeah. bow. Yes, her bow. Yes, I know, but still. If still, it's, it's still a permanent thing. Still, if you're using also, that, so. So I just want to point out one thing. Hmm. Stats might be wrong. Uh, the reason why I say this is because I actually accumulated her stat. She ends up with 149 BST. We all know being on a horse makes you lose BST. Bright Cordelia is 147 BST. It's really hard to say right now. We'll see. It's, it's, the reason I say that is because these units have been so overpowered and so ridiculous that I wouldn't be surprised if they break tradition just to make them powerful because they are your choose your legends, you know? I guess. But I... even then, like, it feels like she's kind of treated as a trainee unit, <sighs> which shouldn't be the fucking case. Well, good news, she's a trainee unit now. So, there you guys <laughs> go. New Amelia, Bo Amelia, ready to go. But no, um, Lynn... Just based on her stats, seems to be incredible, and that's just terrifying to me. But if you're curious, compared to um, Bright Cordelia, she has 33 attack, 35 speed. Yep. Um, so she has two less attack, but again, she has access to cavalry buffs. Yep. Which is fucking retarded. On top of that, she has 28 res, and on top of that, she cancels blade tomes. So she's yeah. she's uh, ridiculous. She can just. She's a, she's a fucking powerhouse, she, easily. She, she's meant to be the, uh, like, I guess they couldn't afford to make, like, complex abilities and units to try and combat horse emblems, so they're just like, eh, just make Lin murder them all. But also, anyway. just one point that uh, a lot of people might not know, the mm -hmm. beast skill is completely inheritable for any of those heroes. Yeah, they're all stuck to them completely, so... These are passives that are only made for these characters, at least the top two, you know, the first of the male and female. All right, so moving on to Ike. Um, okay, so before we start, Ike has a error of translation. The uh, effective against flying and cavalry unit is complete bullshit. That's not what it's meant. Uh, that was a, That's a translation error. What they mean to say is this skill works on flying and cavalry units. Okay, well... So it's like, uh, cavalry and flying unit loses bonuses from fortify, rally, and own, etc. But I'm pretty sure that's what it says right there. It says effective against flying cavalry units. Yeah, but that can be taken as like, oh, well, the we he, he gets a 50% attack increase against flyer and cavalry units. Oh, well, that that's not what I got from it. But then again, you know, Heavy Blade for some reason has plus one on charge, so who knows anymore? Typing and writing is just not relevant anymore. Um, Still rate special triggered. Cooldown count plus one. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. But still, <laughs> nonetheless, I mean, it, it's basically meant to kind of outdo or at least undo some horse emblem or flyer emblem. Uh, it, it's pretty useful to deal with uh, <clears throat> Reinhardt. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, well, yeah, especially his, uh, his axe, Irvan, is... Uh, yeah, pretty, it's pretty delicious there. One thing that is to note, though, using this encounter on Ike is a terrible idea. Because the way Irvin works is like, you take a hit at full damage, and the second one, or any hit after that, gets reduced. If you attack between hits, that goes out the window, meaning you take full damage twice. I don't know if that actually counts, though. I don't think that means... What you think it means, because I think it still counts as a consecutive attack because it's still coming afterwards. That's still technically a consecutive. If it, I, I mean, we'll see when that comes out, but I really highly doubt that they're going to be like, oh man, you attacked between that, guess your consecutive bonus is gone, haha, <laughs> nerd, kind of deal. Yeah, but I, I kind of feel it's going to be like this, purely because, well, Brave Weapon is the biggest problem of this game, and this is meant to counter that, mainly. Yeah. Well, That's how it feels, anyway. I don't know. I, I still think it's going to be... I mean, we'll see when that comes out, but I have a feeling that the consecutive quote-unquote attack is still going to be counted even if you attack afterwards, because it's still... Still good to keep in mind, though, that DC can fuck that up. Mm -hmm. but still, yeah, just, awesome. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I'm debating if I'm going to do that or just give my... Like, I got a Hector and giving it to Amelia. Probably we'll just give it to Amelia, but still... Yeah. 
Um, anyways, I mean, and then we have, you know, what were you, you, we also can't see his stats right now, but, you know, he does have Aether. Uh, there's actually two things we can 100% be sure of. He has 35 defense okay. and 3 HP. Uh, the attack is inconsistent. Okay. Uh, because in one uh, in one fight he has thirty five attack and in the other one he has forty one, but it's it's very likely that he has death blow and he initiates in the second fight. Oh okay, well I mean we we can't see just yet, but yeah that's that's the uh, brave hero banner. We've kind of gone over this before, but we figured I figured it would probably be good to go as an ex you know as um invasive as possible. I guess we're just invading them, but still. What we're really trying to talk to, though, is the Choose Your Bonus Legend. Also, before I fin uh, before I forget, um, Ike's speed might actually be lower on speed minus than even Zephiel, but yeah. that's kind of likely. He has uh, from 18 to 31 speed. We don't know. It's, it's somewhere around this. Yeah. All right, so... Okay, so let's just... Uh... Yeah, also, just a PSA, but... Uh, mm. it, it, the, the the kind of app fight where you could see like oh yeah well I was gonna I mean we're, we'll talk about this a little bit later but it does say that you have you, you know, it says use weapon advantages to win earn orbs special wallpapers and more so you can kind of get the idea that you know it says it right there on the video it, it's were, probably gonna be like the um you know the 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 fucking summon uh, on a website thing that they had before where if you get enough like I've said heroes you could get for uh, Everyone would get orbs. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I'm hoping that I don't have to use that, but, you know, if I have to, I'll just goof around in it a bit, see what happens. Still, <laughs> nonetheless, let's let's boil down to the final thing here. Um, people keep asking me, what hero should you choose when it comes to the new ones, you know, or at least the free ones that you get? And uh, what would your opinion be? Uh, in order, I would go Lin. Okay. Uh, then Lucina, then Ike, then Roy. Okay. For me, I would be doing the exact same thing. <laughs> because, <laughs> I mean, I, I know I know some people... I'm just going to uh, point out that there is a bit of, like, a clause here. Like, you don't have to... If you don't... You know, if you don't really care about Lin and you just want the hero that you really love, go with it. I mean, there's... Unless, unless you have the money to do so and you want to, you know, get rid of the colorless hell that is probably going to be awaiting you for when you try to roll for Lin, <laughs> then instead, go for Lin first, and then try to roll for the others in their respective colors. And that way you can avoid the whole, you know, randomly getting a uh, weird-ass five-star Randomly healer. getting in the ass. Yeah, pretty much. And <laughs> that way you can avoid all of that nonsense, because who boy... Rolling for colorless is such a fun little thing, but yeah, I still highly suggest Lin for your free to play unit if you're gonna go for free. Not to mention, if you give her a brave bow, I know her bow is good, but I mean, if you're going to go for um, hardcore, any any uh, player versus monster or environment, whichever you want to go with, like chain challenge and all that thing, a brave bow unit is always great to have. Yeah. And Lin is definitely a really good unit to use it on. Mm -hmm. The only thing you have to, you will have to worry about is um, this encounter unit. But it's definitely a good unit to well, have. Isn't Seke's blessing technically in part of her kit? True, true. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> I mean, I'm that's so not attached to, to her weapon, buddy. <laughs> I'm so I'm so used to like ranking unit depending on their fucking stats and not giving a shit about their B skill because they'd never have a good B skill. Yeah, I know. And oh. now here here's here's Len just here to mess up everything. Honestly, S tier, S tier, S tier, S tier. Triple million S tier. There you go. That's we, a we, have, we we now have you know Ike S plus uh, Len uh, Len. I mean not Len. Lucina oh. S plus Roy B. I'm oh god, I, I need to fucking find the picture. Roy, S, S tier, and then like Lin, just, you know, god. God tier. No no more oh, need to I, worry. I found the picture. Mm? One moment, I'm sending it to you on Skype. Well, alrighty. That, that's basically all I have to say. So again, I, I say, if you want, 
go for the unit you love, you know, for free. But if you have the money or you have the orbs to do so, go for Lin first to avoid any colorless uh, pulls that you can avoid, and then go for green, red, and blue, respectively. So, yep, for now, guys, catch you later. See you soon.